condition. A strong message at the Roundhouse on the first day of the legislature. Our state continues to rank near the bottom of childhood well-being. Action 7 News anchor Todd Kurtz with more on the Kids Count data book. The message out of the Roundhouse, help me. And the group New Mexico Kids Count used youngsters to hit it home. New Mexico ranks 49th in overall kids' well-being, up from last place last year. It is not um, a great cheering victory for us to move up one step. We've always, for about 20 years, been in the lowest 5 to 10 of the states. Our best rank in the Kids Count data book was in 1995. We were 40th that year. The ranking comes from statistics in poverty, abuse, and quality of education. We know the problems in our communities, and I feel like we are the solutions. The youth are the solutions, and the representatives need to listen to us. A main reason we're near the bottom every year is poverty. One in five New Mexicans lives in poverty. This report it criticizes lawmakers for not presenting any new anti-poverty initiatives. And we're not seeing too much movement just yet. One spot we improved was teen pregnancy. Didn't help much in our ranking, though, since the entire country saw improvement in that spot as well. Todd Kurtz, KOAT Action 7 News. The report also says just four states were lower than us in the percentage of children whose parents lacked full time, year round employment. To see the entire Kids Count Data Book report, go to our website, koat.com.